think about it every night and day. I'm addicted, wanna jump inside your love. I wouldn't wanna have it any other way. I'm addicted and I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Too good for Alpha. Alpha, too good for Rice. Rice? One hour, one coco. And then the last two I will present. I will leave the way how the final exam will be. Okay? Example, 10 to 10. <laughs> then uh, each group is given 10 minutes for presentation. Maybe we will allocate about 3 minutes for questions and answers. Alright? At 4 o'clock, we will break to compact. We had uh, some jamuan. <laughs> so yesterday, this morning, I called him. When he said no, then he called back and said, okay, la, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but this is not a big so, so, okay? so without delay, I give to the first group. So Mr. Lee Pope, Dr. Karama Alaji, and all my fellow sportsmen, I would like to present all your class in this gymnasium. My name is Lee Dogwai, he's a Yuji Chow and Chuan Rex. The oil pump is come from family uh, made. The name is the scientific name is Ulysses Genesis. It's original for West Africa, to Brazil, and to Southeast Asia. Malaysia oil pump is from Singapore on year 1870 as an ornamental plant. And the first Malaysia commercial planting area is then Namara Estate in Selangor, 1870, is now is belonging to Sindabi. The cultivation of oil crop increased at a fast pace in the early 1960s. Total planted area of oil crop in Malaysia from year 1970 from 0.26 million hectare until set 4.48 million hectares in year 2008. Why, why the funding area and the production is increased? The Malaysia get the second largest uh, oil crop production in world after Indonesia. Why the oil pump, why the production increase? Because the oil pump is important in food energy supply to the developing country, the nutrient and health benefit, the environment. Okay, basically this is some of the, the fertilizer application that we, uh, we do normally. Okay, according to the, uh, the test that we do, the soil pH is around 4.75, now 4.71, and um, I suggest that uh, we, we still need to put 4. Point, uh, sorry, 4. Point, 4, point 4 uh, ton of dolomite per hectare, and it is calculated that it is almost 30 kilo per pound. So. I think that it is too uh, too high and reduce it to 15 kilo per pound. And okay, this is the uh, the EC that we, we we tested in the lab, and it is 0 0.1 around 0 0.1 in the semen, and it is a low in the electrical conductivity, and this is not back to our plan. Okay, this is the the nutrients and the nutrient of the soil sample. So basically, you can see P, C, A, and G, manganese, copper, and zinc is low in the soil, and and ferrum is a bit uh, is high. So maybe this is due to the it is high pH, and 
the next so I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough.